hey guys welcome back to my channel so today i have my february ipsy versus boxy charm i know it's super late in the month but i was just too busy <laughs> and i usually don't get my boxes either like really really early so anyhow let's just get right to it this is not going to be a try on style one um i've been wanting to do that but this is not going to be it um because i'm already i already have makeup on guys for today so we're going to be doing that probably for march so let's just jump right into the boxes and see what we got for this month and see who wins the battle this month i've been so busy that i haven't even opened them like i usually peek in my boxes as you can see here this one hasn't been opened either um even though i know what comes inside of them except for this one because this one has like several variations so i don't know what i got in this one um i do know what i got in my ipsy however so let's go to boxycharm first i heard that there might be a possibility to be getting the other bum bum cream like the blue one because i don't really like the orange one everybody is on this hype about that one and i don't really like it so i'm hoping that maybe i got that one but it doesn't look like it <laughs> It doesn't look like that's what's in here. So, bummer. All right, so Boxy Charms theme this month is Afterglow. And there's a lot of people that are not happy about this month because there is no palette for this month. So, I mean, I don't really mind. I have a bunch of palettes. So, I mean, I'm okay with whatever I get as long as it's good. Um... The only thing I'm sad about is that bum bum cream because I would have liked to smell that blue one and see if I like that one. So I'm a little bummed about that, but it's okay. And um, I heard that this first thing here is really, really good. So I can't try it on now, but I'm hoping that when I do, which is probably tomorrow, <laughs> I'm going to like this. So this is the No Pore Por Blum Primer. So it's supposed to be like instead of No Problem, No Pore Blum because it is a pore covering um primer so that's what the bottle looks like i'm hoping this camera is focusing because i really need to get myself a new camera guys my camera is like tripping so this is one fluid ounce this the value for this is 18 dollars, and it says it creates a seamless canvas for your foundation with your new touch insole no pore blum primer the light silky texture blurs pores and wrinkles giving your skin a soft velvet feel green tea and collagen act as adhesives holding on tight to your makeup for many hours of flawlessness so i'm definitely going to be using this tomorrow and i'll probably let you guys know how it goes all right next thing in here i'm not too like excited about because i have so many facial cleansers i like all different kinds so i'm not like blown away by this this is the pharmacy clean b ultra gentle facial cleanser and this is what it looks like the value for this is 22 dollars, so it's like more expensive than this thing um let's see what it says if you hear my dog sorry about that <laughs> So it says, an ultra gentle facial cleansing gel that washes away surface oil, impurities, pollution, residue, and makeup while nourishing skin with honey and hyaluronic acid. Apply to wet skin and massage on face in a circular motion. Rinse with warm water. Use morning and night. So I'm going to, I'm going to, I don't even know what I want to do with this. It looks like a bottle of honey because look how thick it is. So yeah, I wanted to open it to smell it, but since I'm not sure if I'm going to be keeping it yet, I'm not going to do that. All right, next thing in here is from Tristique, and I actually really, really like Tristique. I have several of their lip crayons, and this one has a primer and a lip crayon, and this values this is valued at $25. Um, I didn't hear good things about the primer. It looks really, really cute, like a little like a lip balm type thing it looks adorable but i didn't really hear too many good things about it and the color is an english rose i love this color so this is a huge lip crayon i've had this color before and i absolutely love it i'm actually happy that we get this 
a lot of people were saying that the amount of product they were seeing was not enough for the value um i don't know what to say about that <laughs> i really don't but i do absolutely love this color and it has a magnetic closure which is nice and the primer i'll let you guys know whenever i try it i'll let you guys know if i like it next thing in here i absolutely love and this is the Too faced better than sex mascara you guys probably already know what this looks like this is valued at 24 dollars um that's the wand right there i absolutely love this mascara it's like one of my top favorite the one i'm loving at the moment guys i have to make a pause and show this to you do I even have it here? Because my, if you guys see my everyday makeup drawer, you would scream. It's like a complete mess. The one I have on right now that I've been using lately, I've been absolutely loving it. I don't know if I get up close, if you guys can see my lashes. They look amazing for like every day. It, they even look kind of like falsies. So, you know, this one is at my top right now. This is from Unique. Oh, or unique I think it is not unique it's unique and this is the mood struck epic mascara that's what the wand looks like it just looks like a regular wand but I don't know what it is it's amazing and you have to be careful because it can clump really really quick but it's it's really good I didn't think I was gonna like this this much and I absolutely love it I should do like a top five mascaras video shouldn't I all right and then the last thing in here is from pretty vulgar and this is a highlighter and it's in shimmering swan pretty vulgar has nice packaging it's like antique vintage looking so that's the highlighter right there and this again is something that i don't know if i'm going to be keeping so i don't want to swatch it because i have so many highlights right now that i just don't I, I don't I don't know what I'm gonna do with them so I'd rather like not swatch it you know what I mean and like maybe gift it or give it away to you guys or something like that so we have pretty vulgar highlight Too Faced better than sex Tristique lip crayon pharmacy clean B facial cleanser and the no pore blem primer a lot of people are having problems pronouncing that um, uh, what I'm most excited about is probably these three things. This because I've never tried it and I would really like to try it. It's not like my, oh my God, I'm going crazy over it. But these two, yes. So that's what we have for BoxyCharm. Now we're going to go into Ipsy. And this is the Ipsy Glam Back Plus. Again, if you guys don't know, BoxyCharm is $21.99 per month and Ipsy Glam Back Plus is $25 dollars per month so let's see we have our little pamphlet in there as well hey hipster get ready to fall deeply in love with your february glam bag plus so it has everything that's in the box in here and let's get into that first thing in here is from sun and park never heard of that brand before it's a beauty filter cream glow and this val this is valued at $32 so it says before applying makeup or as the last step in your skincare routine gently pat the cream evenly all over your face until it absorbs into your skin so it says that you're not gonna need a snapchat filter after this so it has a little applicator here and then the packaging is very cute. I'll give them that. Very nice and chic. And this is what the cream... Let's smell it. it smells just creamy. <laughs> that's what the cream looks like. So that's our first product valued at $32. Next thing in our Ipsy is... Looks like a lipstick. Let's see if this is a lipstick. It's very cute. This is from Finding Ferdinand, and it is a lipstick. And it says, Lipstick in Knob Hill. It's a classic red lip shade, and it values for $30. Alright. 
so that's what that looks like i will swatch this because you can never have enough reds and i absolutely love oh i like that shade of red you know this is totally up my alley you guys know what i like so that is valued at thirty dollars oh i didn't see this okay so this has like a little push in uh, okay let's see let's see if i can explain this you push it in and it comes out like that take your lipstick out and then when you're done with it you push it in and it's the little thing stays in that's kind of cute that's kind of cute kind of clever so next thing we have in here is a brush and this is from it cosmetics and i love it cosmetics brushes and this is the heavenly lux flat top buffing foundation brush and this is 48 dollars all right this is the brush right here i love it and it feels really really soft love it love it love it i'm excited about this because i love getting brushes guys like it's so weird but i love it because you can never have enough brushes never so the next thing in here is something that i like added to my box and this was like a three dollar thing i paid three dollars for it and this is a cc cream from hey honey i love this brand i had a cleanser or scrub or something from them and i really really enjoyed it so i really wanted to try this so this is the trick and treat cc cream and it's from light to medium and it says active moisturizing cream with honey and propolis color correcting formula with treatment benefits so i actually cannot wait to try this because i love the brand and I'm, i love trying like cc creams and stuff because you don't want to always wear foundation 24 hours a day all right and the next two things in here guys are actually two palettes can you believe that like two palettes so the first one is from NYX, and this is the NYX Professional Makeup Sweet Cheeks Blush Palette. Look at that, guys. And this is valued at $20. Probably will not be swatching this. I will most likely just show you. This would have been such a great box to do a try-on with, like literally, because it. I have a CC cream, I have a cheek palette like a blush palette i have an eyeshadow palette which is coming next um yeah i had a a, a primer which i could have used so this is the sweet cheeks blush palette that's gorgeous look at those colors guys like you have all the blushes that you need here that's absolutely beautiful so I'm not going to swatch it now, but I most likely, most likely will be keeping this one. All right. The last thing in my Amazon, my Amazon, the last, thing, the last thing in my Ipsy Glam Bag Plus is a palette from Tarte. And this is the Dream Big Palette. And it is double duty dream big eyeshadow palette valued at $30 and from what I see in the colors it's gorgeous so this is the palette super pretty you can see my camera there and then when you open it up wow these colors are very beautiful wow I love it so those are the colors right there aren't they gorgeous they are gorgeous like super beautiful i actually really really like this palette and for travel it's absolutely perfect because you have all these like neutral and then you have your pinky your purpley you have like your dark like iridescent shade you have oh my god they're just all so gorgeous and literally take this for travel and this is the only palette that you'll need <laughs> like literally i was thinking of gifting this one and now I don't know if I want to or not <laughs> because it's so beautiful. I actually really, really, really like this palette. All right, guys. So in our Ipsy Glam Bag Plus, we've got the Tarte Dream Big Palette, the NYX Blush Palette, the Finding Ferdinand Red Lippy. We got the Sun and Park Beauty Filter Cream Glow 
which is like a primer. You, well, you can, it's just a moisturizing cream, but it goes on before your makeup. And we also got the It Cosmetics, um, the It Cosmetics Buffing Foundation Brush. So that was what we got in our Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. I am not counting this because this is something I added. So just in case you guys are questioning why I didn't count that, it's that. Um, so guys, what do you guys think? Who do you think takes the cake this month? For me, guys, 100% Ipsy. Ipsy takes the cake again this month, guys. So, so far, January and February, Ipsy has been the winner. I love BoxyCharm, and um, BoxyCharm has always been incredibly amazing, but Ipsy Glam Bag Plus has really, like, stepped up to the plate like i don't know what it is guys i don't know it's just their january and february boxes were amazing like they completely went over the top i love i love i was thinking of canceling my ipsy glam bag plus and after january i was like hell no i'm not canceling it guys i love these boxes but i'm telling you ipsy ipsy's doing it guys ipsy is doing it <laughs> So let me know what you guys think. Let me know which one was your favorite for the month of February. So far, Ipsy has two points. BoxyCharm has zero for now. And we will see as the months go by who is going to be the winner at the end of the year. Kind of liking doing these beauty box battle videos here with Ipsy and BoxyCharm because it's just fun to see like who is going to take the cake like in the whole entire year. So, let me know, guys. Like I said before, let me know which one you guys thought was the best box. And I hope you guys enjoy this video, and I will see you guys next time. I love you. Bye, my love.